The March 1st Russian strike on the TV tower in the heart of Kyiv has raised a number of tragic historical echoes. Landing in the vicinity of Babunyar, where one of the worst massacres of the Holocaust took place, it led to condemnation from all over the world, including a tweet from President Zelensky, who said it negated the post-war promise of never again. Russian spokespersons claimed their operation was conducted in order to prevent information attacks against Russia. The strike did seem to be a part of a pattern. The following day, TV towers in Kharkiv and Lysychansk were hit. On March 14th, one in Rivne. And on March 15th in Vinnytsia. But questions of what exactly was hit and the tragic significance of the historical site still lingered. The Ukrainian group Center for Special Technologies and Forensic Architecture gathered over dozens of videos, maps and archival materials in order to study how these strikes hit not only media and communication networks, but a tangled nervous system of historical references and repressed memories. This video shows the first strike on the Kyiv TV tower. We can see the projectile in mid-flight. Calculating its size relative to the tower and consulting weapons specialists, we believe it's likely an air-launched cruise missile, such as the 3M54 caliber. The missile hit below the control room, which was reportedly not occupied at the time. The tower withstood the explosion. This image from within the control room supports local reports that it was used for civilian purposes. The light from the explosion allows us to synchronize some of the videos. As does the development of the smoke plume rising from the tower. With the metadata from this clip, which was sent to us directly, we corrected the timestamp of other videos and determined the time of the strike to be 5.08 p.m. This matches the first reports of the incident on Twitter. The next available video is taken 10 minutes later. It shows a dark smoke cloud emanating from the base of the TV tower complex. At 5.19, another strike follows. We located these videos within a 3D model of Kyiv and modeled the extent of the cloud rising from the site of the explosion. From this point of view, the camera captures the second missile as it passes close to the tower, likely missing it, and hitting a gym building 200 meters away across the road. Searching for the video recordings from the ground in the aftermath of the incident, we find this video taken in front of the gym. It shows bodies of four civilians on the pavement, which we have blurred. One more fatality was reported as a result of the attacks. The missiles aimed at the tower are like needle probes piercing through layers of historical strata, connecting the present war with the deep history of the site. This topographic map from 1924 shows that both missiles hit right next to the former ravines of Babenyar. The places where the missiles landed were formerly used as cemeteries, as can be seen from the allotment maps from the late 19th century. The second one hit the Jewish cemetery that also included Muslim and Crimean carriage sections, testifying to the rich cosmopolitan character of Kyiv at the time. The first missile hit the TV tower, which stands on the former Russian Orthodox cemetery. This CCTV video from the first explosion shows the cemetery's gate in the background.
The same gate can also be seen in this photograph from the early 1900s. This photograph, taken in the summer of 1944, shows another entrance to the cemetery, behind an abandoned Wehrmacht tank. In the background are German captives, led by Soviet troops. This area was photographed from the air for reconnaissance purposes. In 1943 and 1944, Analysis of these images reveals anti-aircraft guns and artillery craters, consequence of the Soviet recapture of the city from the Germans. These craters are at the precise site of the Russian strike on the Kyiv TV tower in March 2022. Together with topographic maps, these aerial images help reconstruct the original topography of the ravines. Over the course of German occupation of Kiev, between 1941 and 1943, approximately 100,000 people, Jews, Ukrainian political prisoners, Romas, Soviet prisoners of war, and patients of the psychiatric hospital, were murdered here. The first and the best documented of the massacres took place here on the September 29th and 30th, 1941, when over 33 Southern Jews were shot by a German murder squad. Our analysis of these historical photographs, which Center for Special Technologies undertook for the Babinyar Holocaust Memorial Center, determined this area to be the site where the victims were made to undress before their murder. Taken the day after this mass execution, on October 1st, 1941, these photographs capture the scattered clothes of the victims. This spur is where German murder squads shot their victims. Witness testimonies mention six to seven layers of human bodies laid over one another. This photograph shows Soviet prisoners of war covering the bodies with earth from the banks of the ravines, resulting in these changes to the topography. Before they were driven out of Kyiv, the Germans seeking to cover up for their crimes dug up and incinerated the human remains at Babinyar. In 1951, Soviet authorities began filling the ravines with mud, flattening the topography of the site. This was a further attempt to erase the remaining traces of the genocide. Documents about the massacre were classified, and activists seeking commemoration were persecuted. In 1968, the tower was built right next to the flattened landscape. Our analysis recorded the death and destruction brought about by the Russian strike at Kyiv TV Tower. It also conjures the histories of violence and genocide that happened on this same land before, buried under layers of earth and of negation. These strikes were another attempt at silencing, not by covering up evidence, but by seeking to interrupt the circulation of narratives and their interpretation.